on a recent podcast episode covering Super Brawl 3, they were reading the Wrestling Observer, and part of the coverage stated that Diamond Dallas Page was out, supposedly injured, but was actually probably training to join Smoky Mountain Wrestling after <laughs> Bill Watts had not given him a proper contract. Does Jim remember ever contacting or talking to Diamond Dallas Page about this? If so, where and when did Jim plan to put him on the roster? And I have a feeling that's Dave showing his sarcastic side a little early back in those days. Uh, he, I sense by the wording of what he said that it sounds like that Dallas Page is probably training for Smoky Mountain Wrestling at this point after the contract that fucking Watts gave him, which was when we were working together and would have been a joke because... No, I never talked to Paige, but Watts never pitched Paige to me, uh, and and I don't know that Paige would have wanted to come work in Knoxville straight from WCW. So I think that's uh, Dave probably doing a little ha ha, making ha ha. Did you get to the point at all, or was it too early where there were any names talked about as guys beyond Bobby and Arn who would be in Smoky Mountain Wrestling, either young guys looking for more experience or just guys you can use? No, well, that was the, we never got past that because pretty much we started it and ran it, what, four to six weeks coming up on the pay-per-view and Watts was gone by the pay-per-view. But uh, the the two people he had had, had said first to take Bobby because he knew that A, I could use him, B, Bobby wouldn't have a problem with working for us. Uh, he wanted to rehab Bobby and freshen him up from the way that uh, other people had used him or he had been being used or whatever. And so I knew I had Bobby 90 days. With Arn, it was for the, what, three or four, uh, you know, big shows that he did for us uh, in that street fight and the, the you know, three-man or three-team angle. Um, and then, obviously, rock and roll and, and the, the bodies made their television and Bob Armstrong and myself. And it, probably we would have done something next with, you know, with Tracy or Tony uh, just because they were our other top guys. And I, I'm sure I would have, uh, you know, pitched the same underneath guys or young guys uh, that I did to Vince eventually, guys like that came along like Candido and uh, Glenn and et cetera. But it just – Vince was – Vince ended up getting all the talent because uh, they weren't smart enough to keep Watts around. And who were, who were you going to trust besides Watts? The, it was a fucking den of iniquity at that point. I wasn't going to speak to anybody except Bill Watts and that company. <laughs> 